when reality sinks in for the narcissist. Whether you leave the narcissist or they discard you, it is only a matter of time until reality begins to sink in. It is only a matter of time until an unpleasant or surprising fact or idea of their situation begins to come to their awareness. They begin to realize what they have done and where it has got them. They begin to believe and understand the effect that their behavior is going to have on them. When you were with the narcissist, they had it easy. They had someone who was always there for them whenever they needed them. They had your time, energy and resources whenever they needed. But now that they have had to move on, it's not so easy for them anymore. They have probably portrayed this situation to you as though they have moved on and they are happy with someone else. They can make it very believable. They know how to orchestrate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. But that doesn't mean that's what is really going on with them. Everything they do is designed to affect you in some way. It is designed to get a reaction from you to give them narcissistic supply. But it doesn't mean that is what is really going on with them. When the narcissist was with you, they were never grateful. They never appreciated anything that you did for them. They took you for granted. They assumed that you would always be there for them. They assumed that you would always give them whatever they need, regardless of how they treated you. And they assumed that anyone else would be willing to give them the same, if not more. But when they move on from you, this is when reality really begins to sink in. This is when they have to realize and accept the reality of their situation. When you are no longer there to care for them or support them. When you are no longer there to give them what they need. This is when reality begins to sink in for the narcissist. They might have portrayed this ideal situation to you as though they are having such a great time with a new source. But that is not the reality of the situation. Narcissists are masters of manipulation, masters of deception. They will give you a mistaken impression. They will deliberately cause you to believe something that is not true for their personal gain. Just as they did when you first met them. They displayed a false character and a false reality to you. And this is exactly what they are doing to you when they portray this ideal situation of them with a new source. It's an orchestration. They have planned and coordinated the elements of the situation to produce the desired effect. But that does not mean that's what's really going on. It's an illusion. It is a deceptive appearance or impression and it is designed to give you a wrong or misinterpreted perception.
Whether you leave the narcissist or the narcissist discards you, it is only a matter of time until reality begins to sink in. It is only a matter of time until they have to respond to the consequences of their reckless behaviour. They might have portrayed this ideal situation with a new source, but the reality is that most of them are struggling. Most of them are having difficulty handling or coping with their lives. When they were with you, they had it easy. Everything was taken care of. They didn't have to worry about anything. They didn't have any problems. You were their source of security and stability. You sustained them. You strengthened and supported them physically and mentally. But now many of them are in difficult situations and they are under a lot of stress. Many of them are suffering from depression. Now they are waking up first thing in the morning for a job that they don't want to go to. Doing things that they never thought that they would be doing just to make a living. Just to make ends meet. The grass looked so much greener on the other side to them when they were with you. But when they leave, reality begins to sink in. They begin to realize that life isn't so easy after all. They begin to realize that things were so much better with you. And that's when the Hoover comes along. That's when they try to come back to you. Or sometimes they won't even come back because they don't want you to see them in that condition. They've been going through so much since they left you. Things you can't even imagine. And it's had an effect on their physical and mental health. Some of them lose a lot of weight. Others become overweight. Either way, they always look worse after they leave you. They stop taking care of themselves. They endure a lot of stress and some of them end up depressed. And unless a new source is in the same boat, they're not going to stick around. They're not going to stick around with someone who is weighing them down. But most often, once you have left the narcissist or they have discarded you, it's not so easy for them to find someone of the same quality or standard. They don't even have a boat and a drowning man will reach for anything because they are desperate, because they are in a hopeless situation where you are not wanted to deal with them and yet they have such a great need or desire for something. So they will try to use anything for help, even if it is no help at all. But often, whoever they are holding on to for help, they will only pull down with them. So the new source either drowns with the narcissist, or they realize that they cannot be helped, and then they get themselves out there too. This is what happens when reality sinks in for the narcissist. It's not what they have led you to believe. It's nothing like the deceptive appearance or impression that they have displayed to you. They are miserable and they are struggling. They just don't want you to know that. They want you to think that they are great. Because like any narcissist, the only thing that matters is everyone else's opinion, everyone else's view of them, rather than the reality of the situation. And that's why they remain stuck in these hopeless situations. That's why nothing ever gets fixed. Because they're always too worried about what everyone else thinks. 
they're always too focused on how they can use their situation to exploit people and derive benefit from them rather than just doing what needs to be done in order to correct the situation that is why they remain stuck in this endless cycle stuck in these hopeless situations always miserable always struggling while trying to make you think that they're doing great this is what happens when reality sinks in for the narcissist thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos if you would like to donate my PayPal links in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at nightfathercoaching at gmail.com thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon